Hey everyone, my name is Flo, I'm a developer advocate at Cisco DevNet, and today I would like to showcase you a really cool dashboard what I built on. So back in October, Cisco launched Meraki sensors and industrial sensors. So we have here the launch, um, the launch block. Um, so here, as you can see, Meraki empty sensors, they're basically for indoor IT facilities. And then we also launched the Cisco Industrial Asset Vision, which is a compact, a really um, big IoT solution uh, where you have sensors, Cisco sensors, Cisco IoT gateways, and of course, a cloud-based uh, cloud uh, dashboard for monitoring. Let's take a look at first at the cloud managed sensors of Meraki. So basically, as you can see here, uh, Meraki launched three sensors there. Uh, so one for temperature, uh, one open closed door, and one for water leak. Um, let's maybe take a look at some models here. Um, so as you can see here, they are cloud-based, or so this is classic Meraki. Um, MT12, uh, sorry, MT10 is the indoor temperature, MT12 um, indoor water leak, uh, and the MT20 uh, is for indoor open close sensor there. When we look at the industrial asset vision sensors, uh, this is the more industrial grade. So there are uh, temperature, humidity, uh, water, location, ingress, egress, occupancy, light, vibration. So they are IP67 rated even, uh, and they are using LoRaWAN for that. So they are using the LoRaWAN technology together with Cisco LoRaWAN uh, gateway in order to get the data, of course, uh, to the Cisco LoRaWAN uh, network server. And from there, you still, you can see the data or you forward it to this dashboard. And this is exactly what the solution is about. Um, let's have a look. I will have here some pictures um, for the from the industrial uh, sensors, how they look like. So you can basically install them anywhere outside within a couple of miles or kilometers even, uh, and you you can still see the, the data there. So what I was building on and what I would like to showcase here is that I put a dashboard together with uh, like based on InfluxDB and Grafana. Uh, where you can see data from both solutions. So here you can see data from the Meraki sensors and from Cisco uh, Industrial Asset Vision. And it's really, really simple. So here's just the architecture just to showcase you this. So it's an out of the box dashboard. So you only need to have Docker Compose basically installed. And then you get the data via an MQTT broker um, to the Python script or to um, or from the Meraki cloud to the Python script. From there, the data will be stored in the InfluxDB database and the data can be visualized with the Grafana dashboard. So now let's take a look how actually you can install this um, uh, on your local machine. So it's actually pretty simple. At first, you will clone this repository. All right, and now let's copy here the git clone command. Uh, as you can see here, the whole Git repository will actually be um, cloned uh, and copied to the local device. So I am um, changing here now to asset monitoring dashboard and I will see here all the files which will which are on, on GitHub as well. So let's go to step number two. Step number two is important because you need to configure your environmental, environmental variables or your envi uh, environmental credentials. So these are stored in pyconnectorconfig.py file. So you actually go to asset monitoring dashboard, uh, then pyconnector here and the config.py file. You open this with uh, your favorite text editor. Here I did uh, Sublime and there are the settings. So as you can see here, you can enable or even disable specific functions. So if you only use asset vision, you just disable Meraki. But if you are only using Meraki, you can also disable Asset Vision. So you can use, of course, this um, environment or this whole this whole stack um, uh, for only one solution as well. Uh, then you have specific uh, settings there. So here you have the Meraki settings. You type in the base URL, Meraki API key, then the network ID where your sensors are. So if you don't know how to get this, there is I put in a URL. Uh, into our interactive API so you can uh, easily uh, go and get your network ID there. Furthermore, you are like you need to put in here the serial numbers of your sensors. So this um, uh, this will be definitely be automated soon, but for now, please uh, insert the serial numbers um, similar to um, as a list. 
So basically, you just, um, as you see it here as an example, you put it in, um, you separate the entry with, uh, with just a comma, uh, and then you put your temperature, temperature sensors in here, door sensors in here, and water leak sensors in here. If you don't have any uh, sensors there, just leave it empty. The next is uh, industrial asset vision MQTT settings. So you actually um, should have configured in your industrial asset vision settings uh, an MQTT broker. Um, I using a, a free cloud MQTT broker. Uh, you can use uh, Descript if, if you, of course, open the MQTT port. Um, or, for example, you can use SME, uh, a simple cloud broker as well here. Uh, there you type in the MQTT server, client ID if needed, username, password, and here this is what you also need to have, need to have um, 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 configured is basically the MQTT topic you're subscribing to. Uh, for, my, for now, so in my organization, I just use basically this hashtag sign in order to subscribe to all topics um, um, of this MQTT topic here. So after we put all our credentials and of course the environment into the config.py file, we just use Docker Compose up in order to spin up all the containers. So we go again to our project folder, there you can see the Docker Compose YAML file, and we just do Docker Compose up, and it will spin up all the containers which are in the Docker Compose so the YAML file. So you can see here the logs. You can run this, of course, as a da daemon as well, uh, but for, for just for you to showcase here uh, how it actually works. So InfluxDB is uh, set up, um, as you can see here, so with the InfluxDB uh, container, with the InfluxDB setup container, uh, we are setting up the specific organization, a specific bucket as well. Um, Grafana, we should have seen it up there, is also up and running with um, uh, on port 3000. Uh, so basically, um, everything looks good. We just wait a bit, um, so about uh, one minute or so um, after it starts uh, for the Python connector script, and then we're good to go. And there we see already uh, the, some usage or some uh, action there. So Py connector script is up and running. You can see here, uh, the, it's getting the Meraki uh, sensor information. Also, the MQTT client is starting. Uh, so basically, we are getting Meraki data and we are getting MQTT data from industrial asset vision. Uh, some cool feature is as well included there. So uh, we have successfully inserted data of these four sensors already. So um, actually, um, when you are using Meraki sensor data, you can download specific sensor information there. Uh, and this is also included in the Python script. So now let's look, let's take a look at the data. So let's simply open uh, Grafana, so localhost and the port 3000. We type in our admin and admin123, so the username already configured. And then we go to our asset dashboard. And there, yes, no surprise, there is still no data available. The dashboard is there and you just need to do one little thing to include or to configure it to your data there. So let's start simple with uh, some temperature sensor from the Meraki dashboard. So we click here on edit. We see here everything is actually pre-set up. We just need to put in here the measurement. So basically the measurement of what sensor, what, uh, what type we would like to get, like where would, you, where would we like to get the data from. So we go to our Meraki dashboard, which I already opened there. And you can see here, I have four sensors and two of them are the temperature sensors. So I just copy the name of this specific sensor, go to Grafana, insert it here and say, yes, I would like from this sensor, I would like to have the data from, insert it. And immediately when you click uh, like um, um, outside of the, of the text, box, uh, text box, you actually see the historical data already. So for now you see the last uh, 90 days. You can of course uh, change it to the last 30 days. And there you can really see nicely uh, all the temperature sensors every hour um, of the specific sensor there. We just click on apply here and we can do the same for the door sensor. So here again, we edit it. Uh, again, we go to our Meraki dashboard. We say this is our door sensor here. Uh, we insert it here 
Uh, and there we go. We have, oops, one thing here. There you go. We have uh, the door is closed. When we would like to get historic sensor information, so we actually go here as well there, type in the sensor name, uh, CBC lab, and there we go. Uh, for the door sensors for now, I only requested the last four um, um, data of the last 24 hours. So as you can see here, um, these are the last data information and you can see here when the door exactly was open or closed. So as you can see here, it's pretty like within a couple of minutes, we have already a really nice dash dashboard with some data in there. And now let's do the same for our industrial sensors, for our outside sensors to get data from in Cisco Industrial Asset Vision. So let's go to the Cisco Industrial Asset Vision dashboard. There we can see also uh, some sensor data there as well. And let's actually pick some uh, temperature sensor. So let's, for example, tick, uh, pay, pick this uh, temperature sensor on the room. Um, then let's copy the sensor name and let's put it in as we did the same with Meraki, with the Meraki sensors also in here. So you can see here that we are still getting the data. There are, so there are no historical data yet, uh, but we are getting now every 10 minutes uh, a data point. And as you can see here, it's uh, 21 or five degrees Celsius. And if we keep this running, you will get all the historical data in this dashboard or basically also in, um, um, in the database. Let's do the same for another sensor. So let's go back, sensors. Uh, let's see if we have also some others. Let's pick uh, something here at the top. Um, again, let's uh, copy this one up here. Uh, we can also check, of course, and compare the, uh, the data there. So the occupancy here is available. So this should be uh, one in the dashboard, So which means it's available. So let's actually edit here as well. Uh, let's insert it here, so the sensor name. And yeah, there you go. We can see this, that uh, starting from, from about seven minutes ago, uh, that it is available. And every 10 minutes, the data will be pulled and it will be available here in the dashboard. That's it so far from my side. So as you can see here, you can play around with it. Uh, you can really simply use uh, this dashboard and build uh, a complete uh, dashboard there with two Cisco solutions within 10 minutes, I would say. So cheers, everyone.